Okay, what's up everyone? We're playing Draken the Ancient's Gates for the PlayStation 2. This is a, I, I want to say a first generation. I think this falls in line with the first generation PlayStation 2 game. It's also one of the uh, first PlayStation, blah, pfft, PlayStation 2 games that I ever owned. And so uh, while I'm in town visiting uh, the States, I thought, you know what? Let's bust out, play some old PS2 games that, you know, probably suck a lot of D. So, um, I don't mean to step on anyone's toes, if anyone's a huge fan of this game, or it, uh, you know, they look at it through rose-colored glasses, because looking at it, it, uh, looks like a hot steaming pile of garbage, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, uh, I did have fun playing it when I was growing up, but, uh, it's a strong possibility that I was just enamored by the power of the new generation of consoles, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know, I'm going to skip the story because I'm not going to play this game through a whole series. I don't have time for that. Oh boy, this this looks fantastic. Actually, for first generation, it doesn't look super bad. Uh, I can't remember. There was like this one game called like Island of the Giants or some shit. Uh, Giants Legend of Kabuto. That's what it's called. Yeah. Oh. God damn, dude. I wish this dragon would do a let's play with me. His voice is amazing. No red. No red. The war talks. Uh, okay, so um, it probably looks like we're coming into like the middle of a story. Perhaps the second uh, of, a th of three installments of a trilogy. And uh, that's because that's true. I don't know if I can speak for it being the second installment in a trilogy, but this is the second installment in the franchise. Um, the first Draken, I don't know anything about, but it appears she missed some important battle, and in the first one she seems to establish some type of rapport with this dragon. Anyways, let's go ahead and skip ahead, and I'll show you guys the magic of this game. It's uh, kind of like... Hmm... Uh, I don't know, it's like a third-person action-adventure game. And uh, we control Rin, our Laura Croft-type hero. But she wields, she does like magic and shit, and she uh, has a sword, and she can use a bow, and she kills orcs and other mythological creatures. So, as you can imagine, like, 11-year-old me was like, This game is the shit, yo! Oh my god, it's better than pussy! Wet, sopping, just slippery vaginas. It's way better. Of course, I i don't think I knew much about pussies back then. God, those facial animations. They're right on par with this current generation. Ooh, she's like busty, but at the same time, her... She's like flat. Look at it. She's like pushing out, and she's like got rock and tees, uh, but also at the same time not. Dark Wars, sorry, I meant Star Wars, but George Lucas wouldn't let us use those rights. He yelled them to Disney. Alright, anyways, um, let's... We don't need the dialogue because we're not gonna continue this game for longer than maybe one really long episode just to give you guys a taste of my childhood. Whoa, there we go. Ha, le, ho, ho, ha, ho. All right, that's enough of that. Um, I think you can learn like certain incantations and other spells uh, and whatnot. And um, you make certain motions, I want to say, and you can cast certain spells. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. I'm clipping on this wall. There we go. Pole, not a wall. Okay, so L1 to speak. Okay, that sounds nice. What dummy? Ah, I see. Ah, R1. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, R2. So, um, it's kind of got that Legend of Zelda feel in the attack since, I guess, you know, um, because it's got Z targeting, but it's R2 targeting because this is a PlayStation. Try tapping. Uh, okay. So they expect me to use a D-pad? I don't think so. You can suck my D. Had nailed it. Yard! We're trolls! And we're Scottish, apparently, because we're wearing kilts! Oh, they're not very Scottish. 
If you, oh my god, there are trolls literally telling me to pay the troll toll. And you gotta pay the troll toll if you want the boys hole. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in. Anyone? It's always Sunny reference. Okay. You gotta pay the troll toll. I don't know if we're Mexican or not, but whatever, Essie. Haha! -ha. Moves. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay. So you can roll with X. <laughs> I didn't even mean to say that, but like... I, I mean, you can roll if you press the X button. I didn't even mean to make a drug reference. But, you know, uh, I guess sometimes comedy just comes natural to me, guys. I'm just so funny. Um, what's the jump button? Oh, triangle. Oh, what? That's a sweet backflip. You know, this game actually isn't so bad. Like I said, not going to beat it. And probably not going to play for longer than, I don't know, until I get tired of it. I just need couple filler episodes while I uh, travel back to the Philippines via plane. That plane ride fucking sucks, by the way. Um, which is why I'm trying to get as much content loaded as possible because I know for a fact I'm going to be very jet-lagged when I get home because it takes me about a, uh, like a day of traveling if you include layovers. And I'm going to be la uh, la laid over? Lane over? Lay... Layover? I, I don't know. I have a layover in fucking... Oh! Oh, no troll toll for this guy. Am I right? No, I have a layover in Seoul this time, and it's gonna be a while, so... Fuck this guy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just regurgitate health for me. Ah, health elixir. Exactly what I needed. Of course. Of course I'll pay the troll toll. Uh, okay. So, uh, probably pretty impressive when this game came out. I wonder what the, um, Metacritic score on this game is. Uh, I will... I'm not even gonna make you Google that. I'll, I'll, I'll edit in what the Metacritic score was, or what IGN get. I don't know, I'll look at reviews and edit it in. What is this? Ah, a bow. Press select to open your inventory. Is it... Alright, now I... I say inventory, but British people, they say inventory, right? Now, how do I use this? Uh, lock on a target. Yeah, there we go. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ, dude. That's so easy. You don't even have to aim it. This girl's got everything on Link, yo. She could murder Link. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess you do have to aim it. How about you? How about you die? Um, one more time? Okay. Can't murder him. Yes. It is. He's, he's old as fuck, dude. He is magnificent. His name is Peter, and he's my best friend. It's like that, uh, that one song, My Friend Peter, from the Alkaline Trio. Uh, let's switch back to my knife. Now, how do I fucking... Yeah, that. No, put that away. Put them away! Put your sword away, you dumb bitch. No! Oh, okay. Talk to me, please. How do you... Why would... Why would she be wanting to talk to me? I don't even know her. Uh, okay. From what I remember... Um... Yes. There's some ish going on here. From that guy who kind of looks like, uh... Yeah, that guy. The spy kind of looks like... The son of Robert Baratheon. The bastard child of Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones. Whoa! He's a wizard. Oh my god! A desert lord? He looks like a... Fucking Jesus Christ, what the hell's wrong with him? I bet you this game came out on PlayStation. I'm sorry, obviously it came out on PS2. Uh, what I meant to say was I bet it came out on uh, PC as well. Because this game just kind of has like that computer feel to it. You know, a lot of games coming out. Like I think Dungeon Siege came out at the same time as this. and I don't know. PC has a lot of good games on it. 
Desert Lords, a race of sorcerers. They're from, do you want to guess? They're from the desert. All right, fuck that. Don't care. Like I said, if I were to explain or let the story play out, I'd be wasting your guys' time and probably uh, piquing your interest a little too much because we're not going to continue. What, what, what's, what's, what's your story? I've got to use the shitter. Oh. Yes. Of course I can. God, would it not be an adventure RPG without murdering giant spiders? That's like literally a staple in games like this. Okay. Mm, dude, you got a fucking huge house and nowhere to like, or nothing to put in it. I mean, look at all this space for activities. It's insane. Oh, also look at that. Look what shining through glitchy PS2 game. Oh my God. There's no, uh, I don't know the video game terms. I'm not a programmer or whatever, but the walls are see-through. That, that can't be by design. Uh, it certainly tells me where I need to be. Oh, shit! Get out of here! What the fuck? You're huge! Oh, my God! I don't think I can kill them with this sword. Oh, yeah, I can. But, uh, for the sake of, you know, shits and giggles, let's maybe use this. Maybe a little easier. Dude, that's not even a spider. That's like a... It's got six... No, it's got... It's got eight. And it's like a... It's like a tarantula mixed with a... What do you call that? A scorpion. It's crazy. All right, but traverse we must if we want to. Oh, shit. Kill him. Nice. Nice. Wow. I guess the bow kind of takes the fun out of this, huh? Let's kill the last one with the with the dagger. Make it nice and interesting. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he died in an interesting way. Usually, you know. The other ones were dying on their backs, which is interesting to think because you never really, if you see like a spider die naturally, you never really see them die any other way than on their back. I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe it's like the death pose. Like when, when paleontologists dig up a dinosaur. Oh shit. Oh my God. You brought friends. You said you wouldn't bring friends. I told you to meet me in the parking lot after school. Gah. Ugh. Oh, this one's a little baby. I murdered your family. Now you're dead, too. You can meet them in heaven. Oh, but anyways, what I was going to say, the death pose. Uh, they actually figured out, like, why paleontologists dig up dinosaurs and they're all in that weird, like, stretched out, like, sp uh, their spinal cords are all bent backwards or whatever. Apparently, it's because, I don't know, like, the, the oxygen or whatever, like, the drying out process or something of their bones, and it, it like bends it backwards over time it shrivels it up and it oh god <clears throat> so that it's not like they die that way and they just break their own necks and curl backwards it's like um as they die and their body rots and their bones deteriorate or whatever i don't know i'm not a fucking scientist go look this shit up i watched it on a youtube video i think i definitely didn't take any paleontology classes in college so and uh the only book i read was T-Rex in the Crater of Doom, but I don't remember why, and I don't remember if I finished it, which leads me to believe that I didn't. Okay, so, um, those are all the dead spiders. Pretty exciting. Uh, da 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 da, da 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 da. Rolling, 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 why keep rolling, 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 yeah! Oh, y'all know what time it is. Keep on rolling, sucker. God, Limp Biscuit was fucking terrible. Like, awesomely terrible. Like, the good terrible that you're like, fuck yeah, dude, blare that shit. Uh, like, I was listening to the song Cowboy by Kid Rock the other day, and I was like, oh, this song fucking sucks, yo. I love this shit. Oh, childhood. Okay, um, so... Let's talk to him. We already stole all of his gold, but let's get some more. Oh, bless you. Here, take this with me gratitude. It's a picture of me ex-wife. Uh, okay. So... I think this is a weapon store? Oh, no, it's a tavern. Let's go explore the tavern, because if we go to the tower, it's just going to want to progress the story, and 
like I said, we ain't doing that. Um, 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 um. Wow, all the well, except for this uh, this bard over here. Oh, hold on. Look at you can see inside of her face. Oh my god, I remember there was like there were that. I mean, never mind. That's just something that you can't do in games nowadays. The Inquisitor? That sounds cryptic. Uh, okay, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna kill the Inquisitor. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be a, a nice little one-hit wonder, though, if I did kill the Inquisitor? Why does everyone look the same in this town? Can someone please tell me that? Okay, thank you for that information. Okay, so that's probably because of the Inquisitor. Nice! Oh, I totally bang you, even though your head is see-through. Ho-ho! Sexual innuendo! I like me some of that, am I right? Okay, um... If we can't get in to visit the Inquisitor... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits on this. Um, if I, well, fucking, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I just, I have no desire to do a whole series on this game. What I was trying to do was A, make some filler content, and B, try to encourage other people to play this game. Because, believe it or not, it does get really fun. I do remember having a good time with my nerdy friends and myself. And uh, it's actually well worth... It's probably... I don't I don't even know. I've had this game since the PlayStation 2 came out. So I don't know how much it's actually going to cost anyone. But uh, shit, if you guys want to buy it from me, it, hit me up. My email is in my about. Ask me. Ask about me. I'll, I'll, I'll let you buy it off me. I'll give it to you for $5. Or, you know what? Just pay shipping and handling, and I'll give it to you. There you go. It's all you. I don't even know where the catacombs are. Is there a map? There's not a map. Well, then. Hmm. One last... One last search for the catacombs. Combs. Catacombs? Oh, she can swim. How cool. Okay, I'm not going to find them, and I'm not going to progress the story. Uh, but you know what? Thanks for watching. Guys, go out and buy this game if you think this is something you could do. I'm not going to do it. Bye-bye. Wow. Interesting. Oh, cool. Her whole body resurfaced. Thanks for watching.